Welcome to my Scrap and Space. I'm Joni Martin. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator located in Southwest Wisconsin, and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite sweets in the new annual catalog. Don't tell the other sweets that I'm showing favoritism. This is a great sweet. There's so much to it. So we're going to get my face out of the way, and I'm going to show you some amazing things. So this is the new annual catalog, and I put a plastic cover on it. That's why you're getting a glare, so we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And on page 42 and 43 is a sweet called Full of Life, and it is so colorful. It's the only sweet in here that has a coordinating ribbon. It has my favorite embellishments. Oh, I love this sweet. I can't wait to share it with you. So let's start with the papers. But I'll bring the embellishment in up and ribbon up. So there's six by six papers. And... There are three that would be like, what would we call this? A starburst. Okay. Beautiful. Then we have, I think this is my favorite one in the pack. Look at that. So you have a big blotch circle. Let's call them a blotch circle and a small one. Okay. How fun are those? Then you have three more blotch into rectangle. But, you know, think of like swatches, watercolor. Then look at these. Like, I think it's time to switch the paper on my phone case, and I can't even pick what I want to use. I love these. I just love them. Also in the suite is a great stamp set. I'd buy this just for the sentiments. Thinking of you. Wishes. Happy birthday. So excited for you. Thank you. You know what? Just, just great. Look at the dies. We're going to use a couple of them. I'm just starting to play with these, but I love it. So you can stamp out the word friend in a print paper and then back it in a solid paper. This heart has two pieces. So you, we're going to just use the center piece on our project. But if you wanted a freestanding heart, you have something you can cut it out with. And then it's just great. This little piece, wait till you see if we do that. We're going to use that on the inside of our card. So I'm going to just set this aside. The ribbon is lovely. It's sheer and it has a touch of glimmer to it. And look at these adorable little embellishments. They're going to go on everything. You're going to use them on scrapbooks, on cards. They're nice and relatively flat, so you can go crazy with them on cards. Okay, so this was one of my harder cards to design because there was so much to do. Like, how do you pick? So I'll show you what I did. Here we go. Wouldn't you love to get this birthday card? And because of all these colors, you I could have picked a color from here and, and um, backed it, but I just picked black because it was going to work with whatever I did. So let me show you how I made this card. The first thing we're going to do is grab a blends. Now you're thinking, Joni, I know you and you don't color. Why do we have a blends out? Let me show you. So... Notice the pretty color of my ribbon. When you have a sheer ribbon like this or a white one, you can make it any color you want. I have a scrap paper because you're, it's going to go through. And I've already colored what we're using for our card because the other tip is you want to give yourself time. It's an alcohol marker and it dries pretty fast, but you still want to give yourself some time. So look how quick and easy that is. I'm using light uh, Melon Mambo, but you could use a darker one, though I, as I go over it, it gets darker. How pretty is that? Okay, so that's how I did the ribbon. We're going to set that aside. We're going to leave those embellishments out because we need those, though. So there's my ribbon. As I said, I if you wanted the whole heart, you have a, a layering piece. I just wanted it to cut out from here to show through. So I used that piece. Then there's a label set in the catalog. We'll be talking, I will be doing a video on later called Unbounded Love. Like seriously, about every label you need is in there. And I like this, but notice how I have it offset because I want it even with the edge of the card. So we're gonna grab the paper cutter. I would not, some of you would be like, I'm just gonna snip that off and you'd snip it straight. I would not. So we're just gonna grab the paper cutter. 
I'm going to make sure I have this up against there. And I'm going to make sure that in my cutting, let's call it the cutting zone, I don't see any words. So then I know I'm not cutting off the word birthday. There we go. Pretty quick and easy. So before we do anything else, we're going to do this part here because it goes behind your card base. And I don't want to attach it to the front of my card and then go, oops. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually attach my ribbon. See how my ribbon is much longer than I need? I'll show you what we're doing. We're going to turn this over. And I'm going to go, let's go three quarters of an inch. Oh, that looks pretty close to heart. Let's go half inch. I'm using the dark line of my grid paper as my guide. And I'll lay that down once I know where I want it. This, this ribbon does kind of roll around. You have to show it who's boss. Then I will have it a half inch from the bottom because my ribbon is on this line and I have two squares below it, which is a half inch. So let's lay this there to hold it. Trim this. We're going to use the piece we're trimming off. It's just easier for me to color one. It's just easier to color one piece. Okay, then let's grab a little tear and tape. This paper is so fun. So many things you could do with it. There's that. And here's this. Look at that. It's straight across the top because I used that guide. Okay, then we're going to attach happy birthday with dimensional so it pops up a little bit. This label is not quite wide enough to do two up and down. So I'm just kind of like alternating. See how that, because I don't have quite enough room there to do another one. Get rid of the backs. I have a little container on my desk so they don't follow me upstairs. They're really staticky and they can land everywhere. And then I'm just lining this up at the edge. That gives a little more interest to the label and it's holding my ribbon in place. This little scrap I have left is going to go right here and I'm going to tie a knot. Those of you who watch me regularly know I have good days with my hands and some struggle days. And this has become for me the easiest way to add it. Rather than tie a bow, I just tie a little knot. Now this ribbon is so soft, it's, going to, it's not going to leave a bump or anything like that. It ties really well. Then I'm just going to trim. How easy was that? This card comes together really quickly. Now on the back, we're also going to add dimensionals because when you have a cutout like this and you have dimensionals, it almost casts a little shadow. It adds more interest and it tells you that, um, yes, you, you can just see it. So I can feel the dimensionals I have right here. I'm going to make sure I don't put two dimensionals on top of each other because that would then like double the thickness for the card. I am gonna make sure I have some around the heart so that that heart stands up. I can just think of so many reasons to use that heart. With some of these softer colors, and it, you know, you could be a pretty baby card. Certainly anniversary, thinking of you. Okay, now I have so many backings to pull off of here. I think um, I'm gonna just bring my container over. My friend has a really pretty one, so when she brings it on camera, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have this goofy plastic one, but it's okay. They both work. There we go. Now the trick when you have this many dimensionals on is to make sure you get all the backs off because the dimensional does no good if, if it's still not sticky on the back because then it isn't doing its job. So this is what a third grader taught me when she used to come to class with her mom. I watched her one day and she just touches each one to make sure she didn't miss one. Oh, the things we can learn from kids. This is a standard four by five and a quarter mat. This pretty little piece, I went down. Um, there we go. A full quarter inch, so it's three and three quarters by five. There we go. We're almost done. We're gonna grab a tape runner. Fold 
out our card base. And again, you could use, you could pick out any of those colors. I just felt like they popped really well against the black. That's going there. Now we have those beautiful embellishments. Remember those? I'm going to use, I use the smaller ones on here, but really the, the larger ones aren't going to pop up the envelope. So we're going to just grab those. We're going to put one near our sentiment to draw attention there. That's the single one of our three. And then two closer together to form roughly a triangle. How pretty is that? And we're not done. I have something fun for the inside I want to show you. If we can, here we go. So that narrow die cut that I showed you, this is what it makes. And you've seen me where I cut a strip of paper and put it across the top because we don't want, we're just bringing the color into the inside of your card from the front is fun. So instead of doing a strip, I die cut this piece. I can see there's a lot of things I want to do with this. Now it's just a, just a little bit longer than your card. So here's what I would do. Let's put some glue on it. And that's pretty too. There we go. a little easier for me to pick it up that way okay oops yeah the hands they are what they are I'm just gonna lay it on there look at that and then we're gonna trim because it's just just a little smidge longer so then see what that does to the inside so happy birthday wishes and And because I cut my front three and three quarters, I have a two and a quarter strip left that will work for my envelope flap. Let's just clear enough space so we can see what we're doing here. And with the envelope flap, we want to go all the way around the edge. And we're putting the glue on the envelope flap rather than our paper because the envelope flap is smaller than the paper. And that's gonna go there. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get this envelope and you're gonna be like, I can't wait to see what's inside. Uh, you will see lots more cards coming from me with this paper pack. So much, so many good ideas. Just playing and pulling the papers out, just ideas kind of just jump out from them. And there we go. Here is our happy birthday using full of life and coloring the ribbon with a blend. Now, if you didn't have a blend, you could color them with an ink spot or a marker. The blend being alcoholic, it dries quicker and it, um, the color, I think, just adds a great depth. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it more than you know. Until next time, take care and keep crafting. It's good for you.